Did you know our bodies are perfect for medical research? I missed the memo too. But in the 1950s, this is how doctors and researchers thought of us. They took her cells without asking. And while she lay dying, the world quietly built an empire from her body, an empire her own children were too poor to access. Henrietta Lacks was just 31 in 1951 when the pain began, sharp, relentless, deep in her abdomen. She'd survived the tobacco fields of Southern Maryland, birthed five children, lived through hardship most people never see. She knew ordinary pain. This wasn't ordinary. At Johns Hopkins, one of the few hospitals that treated black patients, doctors found it, a purple glossy tumor blooming across her cervix, aggressive, deadly. They began radiation immediately. But while Henrietta lay on the table, terrified and vulnerable, a doctor removed a piece of her tumor. And the truth is controversial because it was normal. In 1951, poor black patients were used as anonymous research material long before the word consent was sense. But Henrietta's cells, they weren't like anyone else's. In the lab, scientists expected them to die within days, like all human cells had for decades. Instead, they multiplied, doubling every 24 hours, unstoppable, immortal. They named them and sold them. While Henrietta died in October 1951, her cells lived on, shipped across continents, launched into space, used to develop the polio vaccine, AIDS research, chemotherapy, gene mapping, IVF, and more, radiation studies, and more. Pharmaceutical companies made billions, universities built programs, scientists won prizes, and the Lacks family, they couldn't afford health insurance. 20 years passed before they even learned that their mother's cells were alive. Henrietta's identity was buried under aliases like Helen Lane, as if the world wanted her cells but not her story. Not her blackness, not the reminder of how medical progress was built. Decades later, journalist Rebecca Skloot and Henrietta's daughter Deborah forced that truth into the light. A reckoning began. But justice? That's still complicated. The lawsuits continue. The profits continue. The inequality continues. Today, statues honor her, awards bear her name, scientists praise her contribution. But none of that changes this. Henrietta Lacks never had a choice. Her cells changed the world, but the world failed her family. Say her name now, remember her, because her cells are still alive, still working, still saving lives, but she was more than Gila. She was a woman, a mother, a life that mattered.